Hi everyone, welcome to the third lesson of our virtual assistant crash course. So in this lesson, we will start talking about the second of the top three skills required to be a virtual assistant. And of course, that is none other than email management. I know that we have already discussed about this one um, in our Freelancing 101 course, but I want to rediscuss this one for our virtual assistant crash course for those people who haven't um, taken our Freelancing 101 course, okay? So email management is a very self-explanatory. It is managing your client's email and definitely you should be doing it right now. Even if you don't have client yet, please, please, please do manage your emails. So in that way, you can already start practicing this skill and improving this skill while you are waiting for your first gig, right? So email management is a lucrative skill for a virtual assistant. So why? It is because um, most clients... Like clients, people coming from different industries, different profession, different um, kinds of businesses. These clients actually want you to manage their email. So that is why whatever you want to be, real estate virtual assistant, medical virtual assistant, or a general virtual assistant, you need to learn about email management. Yes, the same as the web researching, it may sound common sense, but then wait until it gets too crazy when you see that every day, you get tons of messages or tons of emails from your clients, vendors, suppliers, clients, partners, and other stakeholders. So it's going to be quite difficult to manage. But with the right techniques, it's going to be easier and smoother for you. So what are we waiting for? Here's the tutorial. If you've already enrolled and taken our Freelancing 101 course, then you've already learned about email management. So this part of our virtual assistant crash course will serve as your refresher. And apart from being just a refresher, we will also teach you some new tricks or new hacks in email management. So there are many challenges in email management, like plenty of them. So in this section, we are going to focus on solving the email organization challenges and marking them as urgent or important. Have you already tried to open your email and find hundreds or even thousands of emails? Whereas it's very difficult to sort which ones are important and which ones are not. Which ones are urgent and which ones are not. So there are some methods that you can use to organize your emails and make it easier to group together um, according to importance, urgency, sender, and other criteria. So the first method that we will be teaching you here is the STAR method. So using the STAR feature in Gmail, it helps you track the important emails. So as you can see here, I have a lot of messages, but I don't even know which ones I should reply first. So having a starred message will actually help me. For example, I want to mark all the VA crash course enrollment as an important message because of course they are important and I have to get back to them. Okay, so let's start on page three, let's say. So I want to mark them here. This is how you mark them as important star. Okay, it's very easy. But the question now is, what if I want to have a different groups of important and urgent emails? So let's say I want to mark my messages as super important and urgent that needs to be addressed ASAP. So I want them to be in a different group. And then I also want to mark um, emails that are urgent and needs to be attended within, that, within the next few days. And another group, for important but doesn't need to be attended right away, right? Or another group is not important, not urgent, but they might be interesting later on, like interesting to read or to go back to. Maybe they are newsletter, worthy newsletter that you want to go back or read later, right? When you have more time. So how do I do that? Because right now we only have this one star. So the thing is, there is a trick to have different colors of stars even different icons if you want. So to do that, all you need to do is just go here, click the settings button. There you go. And then click see all settings. So make sure that you are under the general tab, okay? So you have to scroll down until you see the stars. So you can see now what we have in use is only the yellow star, which is one star. So you can choose the preset option, which is four stars, all stars, one star, right? So Romy, what if I only need four stars? There you go. What if I only need three stars? So you can start putting it back together. 
What if you don't like the preset icons here? So what you can do is slowly drag them one by one. Um, drag the icons that are in not in use to in use. So for example, I want to mark um, the urgent and important that needs to be replied ASAP with this one, with this mark, okay? So I'm going to put it here. And then let's say I want to mark the urgent that needs to be responded or attended to within a day or a few days with a um, green star. There you go. And then this is for the important, but doesn't need to be attended right away. And this is for something that I want to read later on. They are not urgent and not important, maybe a newsletter, but I want to read them later when I have more time. So right now, we have four stars here, right? So once you're already satisfied with your um, preferences or with your choices, then don't forget to click Save Changes here. There you go. So right now, let's say that this one is important. So I'm going to put it as important. Um, yeah, important. Maybe this one is urgent. All you need to do is click the stars here until you find the right icon for that email. So since this is urgent, this is, should be color green. It's up to you, okay? You don't have to copy my um, colors or my icons. You're the one who's going to set it. And let's say, for example, this one is urgent and important that needs to be attended right now. Then write that. And for example, this is something that I want to read later on when I have more time. But this is not really important, right? So I'm going to put it with this icon. So there you go. You already know how to mark important emails. Now the question is, how do we group or sort emails according to what kind of email they are? So let's say, um, let's say you are not or you've already done um, grouping important and urgent emails. But here, you want to group email from the same sender or like emails from the same kind of group, like whether they are per personal, they are per business, or they're coming from my supplier, or etc. right? So how can you do that? So let's say I want here in the sea of my emails, I'm just going to go to page three uh, so that it has more variety, right? So this one we have, um, okay, sorry, I was wrong. I'm going to go to page four. Okay, so as you can see here, we have like um, VA crash course enrollment. We have this one. So the other ones are not really important. So I want to go back later or tomorrow to check all the VA crash enrollment emails. But I don't have the time now. But I want to group them together in order for me to just come back and then just see that these are the things that I need to attend to. So yes, you can use this star. But the star is not really the right thing or the right feature to use in order to group emails together. The stars are usually better or best for using for urgencies and like important matters. So how do you group emails then? So what you can do is labels. So to create labels, all you need to do is to choose all the emails that you want to group together. After that, click on the labels icon here, this one. So you can choose the options that are already here, but you can also create new ones by typing the name of the label that you want. So in this case, I want to call this label as VA crash enrollment. There you go. And don't forget to click here to create new. There you go. So this nest label under is useful if you want to make it as a sub label of a mother label. Okay. So for example, if you have another folder that you want to be under like VA crash enrollment accepted, VA crash enrollment rejected, then you can use this. But for this one, I don't need a sub label. So I'm not going to tick this box. I'm just going to leave it unchecked. And then I will click create. So now you can see that in the inbox, these emails already have their VA crash enrollment tag, right? And you can also find the groupings on this left side. So if you scroll down or even not scrolling down that much, you can already find it here. And if you click it, 
you will be redirected to a folder that is only for this one. So this is very important because once you want to go back to attend other emails or like pending emails, you don't have to sort them through inbox anymore. You just have to go through VA crash enrollment, right? So I want to go back to our previous page just to show you something. There you go. Okay. So as you can see, these thugs, they, uh, they already have a tag, which is a VA crash enrollment. The problem is that they are not very visible because of their color. So the thing is, you can actually change the colors, right? Here, just click this button here and then um, hover the mouse on label color. And then you can start um, choosing the color of your preference. You can even add custom color if you want. So let's say VA crash enrollment, I wanna label them. I wanna label them with a the color red. So then it's easier for me to see them later on. So if you see, if you're um, scrolling down your inbox, you can immediately see the emails that need your attention or the emails that are in one specific group. So don't forget that you can create as many labels as you want to in order to sort your emails. Labels are very important, especially if there are many different kinds of emails that you receive on a daily basis. So you can even use um, label to separate your financial emails, personal emails, business emails, and other kinds of emails, however you want to use it. So that's it. Congratulations. And now you already know how to create or how so to that is all for our email management email lesson. Management. See you in our next video. And together we will touch on the third skill required for every VA. And that is calendar management. Bye.